this is me again, Kelsey. Remember me? So today for reading, we're going to read magical stories. And we're going to read today, The Mermaid Party. Alright, let's read. Deep under the sparkling waves, mermaid sisters Carl, Carl and Pearl swam off to the deep sea disco. Wait for me, cried their little sister Marina. Go back, you're too small to come with us, said Pearl. There will be plenty of time for you to go to parties when you're older, said Marina's mom. For now, you must stay here where you're safe and play with the seahorses. She added, giving Marina a big cuddle. But when her mom wasn't looking, Marina slid her best seashell clip in her hair and swished her tail. Before she knew it, she was beyond the beautiful reef and out into the big blue sea. Far ahead, Marina could just see the shimmer of her sister's tails. She swam and swam to try to catch up, but their tails disappeared into the distance soon. Soon Marina realized that she was all alone. I'll just rest for a while on this rock, she said. Do you think, guys, it's a rock? Look, it has eyes. I think it's a whale. Suddenly, the rock began to move and Marina realized it wasn't a rock at all. It was a huge whale. Up and up they went. Look, Mummy, it's a mermaid, said a little boy. Whoosh! A huge spray of water sent Marina somewhere through, through the air above the waves. Then down, down she came. Splash! With a crush, Marina splashed back into the sea and tumbled through the... whirling shawl of silver fish. Marina felt very dizzy as quickly as they appeared the shawl of silver fish hurried away. Why were those silly fish in such a rush? huffed Marina. Suddenly, th through the rippling water, Marina saw a mean, hungry swordfish swimming straight towards her. Thinking quickly, Marina darted into a dark sea cave to hide. Th the fish, I mean the fierce fish shoe soon gave up looking for her and swam away. But just when Marina thought she was safe, a grumpy octopus would wants his long, ugly tentacles around her tail, trapping her. Flick, flick, went Marina, flicking her tail. Flicking a 
afraid she swam and swam until suddenly, Hush! The octopus has caught in me, she cried. But it wasn't the octopus at all. It was her sisters. We knew you'd follow us, they said. Never go off by yourself again, said Carl. I'm sorry, I promise I won't, replied Marina. Marina was so happy to see her sisters and even happier still when they had their very own mermaid party at home. D and did you like that story? I hope you enjoyed my story. Look in Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We love you guys. I hope you copy me and do anything or singing or doing anything. We love you guys. Bye.